The events in Halo Infinite's main campaign were centered around the Master Chief, the weapon, and Cortana's secrets. Other subplots were sprinkled in like Echo 216 and various other Spartans found on the ring, but the Master Chief was the main focus. If you've played previous games like Halo 4 and 5 though, where are the characters we've come to know? Lasky, Locke, Blue Team, and so on. Today we're going to discuss what happened to some of these characters and what we may see in future releases involving them. Before we jump into these character mysteries, there are of course spoilers ahead if you haven't beaten the game. Also, this was basically a spiritual reboot of the Halo franchise. The story focused on Master Chief first and foremost, and his connection to Cortana and his new AI, the weapon. Now it would seem that 343 wrote this story that way on purpose, which is what fans wanted. A classic Halo story centered on the Master Chief and an epic journey. This would be unlike Halo 5 where we had Blue Team and Fire Team Osiris and you switch between playing Chief and Agent Locke. A lot of information was going on there, so keep this in mind as we dive through this video. It was most likely intended that we don't hear much about these characters on purpose, at least in the campaign. Let's first start with Thomas Lasky. In certain audio logs though, if you collect them around the map, we do get information and hints about what happened to important characters from previous games. In the Infinity's Approach section, Lasky speaks to characters about the mission. That mission was Chief bringing this AI to Zeta Halo and bringing back Cortana for deletion. During this, the Banish randomly attack, sending Marines into chaos, and Lasky is forced to evacuate the Infinity. Chief, thanks for coming up. Walk with me. So this is it. When Halsey gives us to go, we head down to the ring service and you... Well, you do what you do best. Always, sir. And you believe in Halsey's plan? Sir, we're detecting unusual readings around the... It's an attack. Multiple collisions. Guardians? I don't think so. Captain Lasky, we have hull breaches. These locations. We've been boarded. Sir, report to banished raiding parties. Lots of them. Banished? What are they doing here? Making a mistake. I was gonna say the same to you. Sir, we've got banished forces inbound. Advanced group, but well armed. Chief, I think we can make it out of here in one piece? We'll make it. Spartan Griffin, get the captain to a dropship. Now. And what about you? I'll hold them off. You always do. Give them hell, 117. Almost there, Taurus. Another 40 meters. On your right. Shooting, Captain. Ah, uh, I was well trained. All right, sir, this is your bird. Let's get you out of here. My bird? We've got room, and you still need a ride. Still have unfinished business here, sir. We'll make it down to the ring, though. Promise. We'll see that you keep it, Spartan. Godspeed. Lasky to all hands. The Infinity has been compromised. All remaining crew should immediately evacuate and make for the surface. Rendezvous coordinates incoming. No matter what happens, we have to make sure that we... It is unknown what happens after this audio log. There may be others out there that build upon this, but the main thing we know is that Lasky took a pelican to escape and either was successful or the banished got a hold of him. Commander Palmer was also aboard the Infinity, as she usually is, commanding some Spartans that were ready to go, but there's no mention of her beyond that. I've spoken to Commander Palmer, who's assured me that our Spartan contingent is ready to go. Commander Sarpong offers similar sentiments regarding our infantry and ODST divisions. Agent Locke. In one of Lasky's UNSC messages, he says this. Stages of breaker trip, but each time out, 
I wonder if we pressed our luck too far. So Spartan Locke was sent out on his own mission. Not much is known besides his possible fate though. What I'm referencing here is certain banished leaders like Hyperius can be seen wearing Locke's armor. His helmet is plastered on his shoulder plate. Now this doesn't mean that Locke is confirmed to be dead though. There's actually more evidence we have from, you guessed it, mega blocks that suggest he could be alive. In one set, Agent Locke can be seen like this. Now this immediately gave me Sergeant Johnson vibes from some of the cover art we've seen in books and things like that. But the main thing to note in this puzzle is that Locke's armor is missing, fitting in with what we see in Halo Infinite currently. So could Locke have survived and this is his new look? Maybe 343 had Locke in the campaign at one point and was scrapped, or he could appear in the future like this. Maybe even a spin-off story. Blue Team After Halo 5, Blue Team was sent to Planet Reach with the Master Chief to retrieve info for Dr. Halsey. This was from the place where Cortana was originally created, duplicating or obtaining that information to create the weapon. After this mission, it's assumed Blue Team returned to the Infinity, where Halsey tells John the mission to delete Cortana and then sends Blue Team on their own mission. Are you sure about sending him in alone, Dr. Halsey? If everyone does their job correctly, John will not be alone, Captain. I just question the value of splitting them off from the rest of Blue Team. That wasn't the initial plan. Plans change. Besides, I have something else for Blue Team in mind. So do I. Which is why we've taken advantage of their unexpected availability to assist elsewhere. I do not remember agreeing to the reallocation of our best Spartans, my Spartans, for an operation I am not even aware of. Plans change, Doctor. Again, this is the whole chief focus story thing in terms of the writing. Chief, you go do this. Blue team, you have your own mission just like Agent Locke did. So currently, they do seem to be alive out there as far as we know. I don't know why they would kill these important characters off in something we don't even see, but there's that for you. And then we have the Arbiter, which is a disappointing one. We don't really have an update on the Arbiter besides these little plushies scattered around Zeta Halo. In my opinion, the Arbiter didn't have to be at the forefront like the Halo 3 days, but at least a dialogue line would have been nice to hear. What the heck's going on with them? Anyway, Spartans, that's all I got for today's video. A little update on what's going on with some of the characters we've seen in previous Halo games and why they aren't the main focus in Halo Infinite. If you'd like to see some other Halo lore and mysteries just like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you all in the next video.